Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing my recipe for some low calorie, low point chicken enchiladas. We're going to be using these high fiber wraps. These are extreme wellness fiber wraps. I'm going to use some Sargento Swiss cheese. I wanted shredded cheese, but they didn't have that. So I'm going to use these slices and just cut it up. I had some black beans and corn left over from another recipe. So I'm going to use some of that. I'm also going to use some Greek yogurt and I'm going to mix that with the cheese and I'm going to be using some green salsa and some jalapenos and I'm just going to cut some of that up in it because I like spice. So I'm going to put it together with some chicken that I got from Costco. This is just some rotisserie, uh, black, um, rotisserie chicken breast. I'm sorry. All right guys, so I'm gonna start by measuring um, my chicken breasts and I'm gonna use, I'm probably gonna try to get to close to 10 ounces of this chicken breast. And if you're on Weight Watchers, you already know that the chicken breast is zero points. So you could put as much or as little as you would like in it, but I'm just trying to still track a little bit of how much I'm using, mainly for the recipe itself so that I can share it with others. All right, so I have it just about at 10 ounces. And I'm going to actually cut up this chicken breast. I'm going to use my scissors to kind of chop it up and make it a little smaller pieces. All right guys, so I have my chicken cut up. I kind of like mine in small pieces. It's really a matter of preference. And now I'm gonna add the salsa verde to it. I'm gonna add a cup of salsa. I'm just gonna mix that in with the chicken with some of the black beans. And I might get some corn in there too, it doesn't matter. But I mostly just want the black beans. I'm going to add a little salt to it. All right, so that's the finish of that. Now we're going to get some of these things out of the way so we can put together the cheese mixture. All right, guys, so here is my 
cheese I just took um, a few slices of the cheese and diced them up really small and put in some diced up jalapenos in there with it and I'm going to add to it some non-fat Greek yogurt and this is what I'm going to use to give me kind of like a little cheesiness inside of the enchiladas without adding a whole lot of cheese. And as you can see guys, I added a half cup of the Greek yogurt. And I'm just gonna mix that in with my cheese and jalapeno. And you can opt out of the jalapeno. You can use a different kind of cheese. I'm using the Swiss cheese because it's kind of lower in points. So I'm trying to keep this um, pretty low in calories and smart points for Weight Watchers. All right guys, so there we go. I'm gonna clear out some of this stuff and then we'll put together our enchiladas. All right guys, so I have my pan here and I'm spraying it with a little cooking spray just so my tortillas don't stick to the bottom of it. And we're gonna just build them up. So I'm just gonna take one of my tortillas gonna fill it with a little of the chicken mixture I'm going to put a little bit of my cheese mixture on top of it. And I'm just going to try to spread it out a little evenly over it so all through it, it'll have a little of the cheese mixture. And we're just going to roll it up. And there we go. So we're just gonna keep building them up like that. I'll put another one together. And you can always add more to these if you like rice or anything like that in it. But I'm just trying to keep it simple. And I'm just prepping these to have for my lunches. So these are good for having for lunch throughout the week or dinner, whichever your preference is. All right, so we're gonna get this one all rolled up. And I'm gonna finish rolling up the rest of these, getting them all stuffed and rolled up, and I. All right guys, so I was able to get six out of that. Um, I'm gonna add a little um, green chili enchilada sauce on top of them. I'm gonna do a half a cup. I'm just gonna try to pour it over a little evenly. It's not a lot, so it's not gonna really cover them that much, but you know, just as well as you can get it. And now guys, I'm gonna bake these covered in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna bake them uncovered for 10 minutes. So I will be 
All right, guys, here's the finished product. And I had these for lunch every day, and these were so good. They were good for, like, like I said, several days. So these reheat well, and they taste really good. So definitely try this recipe if you like enchiladas. I hope you like this video, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.